Oh, hi. I was just doing some dusting. Check out this lesson to learn how to talk about 12 useful household chores in English. Hi, I'm Steve, and this is Single Step English. Most people do tasks in their home to make it look nice. These tasks are called chores. Perhaps your parents made you do chores when you were younger. I know my mother made me do chores. In this lesson, you will learn 12 really useful household chores that will help you expand and grow your vocabulary. Using these expressions will help you sound more natural and become fluent speaking English. You can practice saying these expressions while you do them in your own home. You don't need a language partner or a teacher. You can practice on your own. By yourself, you can review these expressions every single day. All right, our first expression is prepare and cook meals. This requires buying the food, coming home, preparing the food, and then cooking the food. To practice on your own as you are making a meal, you can say, I am preparing lunch or I am preparing dinner. Then you can say, I am cooking lunch or I am cooking dinner. Notice that I use the ing or gerund form of the verb because I'm doing something right now. Next up is number two, which is wash the dishes. Yes, after you prepare and cook, you need to wash the dishes. As you perform this task, you can say, I am washing the dishes. And usually we have more than one dish, so we use the plural dishes. I am washing the dishes. If you have a dishwasher, you are very lucky. Number three is do the laundry. This is not my favorite household chore. However, to have clean clothes to wear, you must do laundry. For present tense, to practice speaking the task, you can say, I'm doing the laundry. How about you? Do you like to do the laundry? After you do the laundry, well then you fold the laundry. Okay? If you're doing it now, you'd say, I'm folding the laundry. After that, you put away your clothes. I'm putting away my clothes. And we do this all the time. Easy to practice this. I'm folding my clothes. And then I'm putting away my clothes. Okay, on to number five. Number five is make the bed or make my bed. To practice this expression, you say, I'm making the bed. Or in this scene, she's making the bed. If you live alone and you have just one bed, you can say, I'm making my bed. However, if you're a couple and you have a partner, you would say, I'm making the bed or I'm making our bed. Next up is clean my room or clean the room. Same rule as the previous one. If you live alone or have your own room, you'd say, I am cleaning my room. How often do you clean your room? In the opening scene of this video, I was dusting the room. I am or I'm dusting the room. Hey, there's a bonus vocabulary word right there. Dusting. Dusting is part of cleaning the room or cleaning my room. You may hear people use both together. I'm dusting and cleaning my room. Again, I'm cleaning my room for a single person or I'm cleaning the room or our room for a couple or a partner that lives together. You also 
may hear people use a specific room. For example, I'm cleaning the kitchen, or I'm cleaning the living room, or I'm cleaning the dining room. Number seven is clean the bathroom. This means to clean the toilet in American English. And it usually includes the shower and the bathtub as well, to clean the bathroom. To practice saying this task, I'm cleaning the bathroom. Okay, on to the next one, which is sweep the floor. This is when we use a broom to clean up the dirt that is on the floor. Sweep up the floor. So saying this task, this chore, you would say, I am sweeping the floor. I'm sweeping the floor. After you sweep the floor, you may mop the floor. Yes, you may mop the floor. And this is usually when you wet the floor with some type of cleaner and you scrub the floor using the mop and probably have a bucket. You mop the floor. For present tense, what are you doing? I'm mopping the floor. If you have a rug or carpet, you may do this chore. Vacuum. I am vacuuming the rug. He is vacuuming the rug. Actually, that is my vacuuming style, slow and steady. I find it really relaxing. When you practice, you can say, I am vacuuming the rug. Next up is number 11, which is take out the trash or take out the garbage. In American English, in general, we use trash for paper or plastic. And we use garbage for leftover food or things that came from the toilet or bathroom. However, you might hear people use both of them interchangeably. In British English, people usually use the word rubbish. So to practice saying this household chore, Using ing, you can say, I'm taking out the trash, or I'm taking out the garbage. Actually, today, I am taking out the trash. Our last household chore for this lesson is feed the pet, or feed the pets, if you have more than one pet. Maybe you have a dog and a cat, feed the pets. And this is when you prepare the food and give it to your animal, your pet. Feed the pet. What are you doing? I'm feeding my dog. I'm feeding my cat. I'm feeding my bird. And that's how you would use that household chore. By practicing these household chores as you do them, you will improve your English naturally. And it will help you become more fluent speaking and communicating. I really encourage you, every day, as you prepare to do things in your life, ask yourself this question. How can I say this activity or task in English? How would I say it? Make up vocabulary in your mind and then say it. Oh, today I will clean my room. I will wash my clothes and I will prepare my lunch. Three things right there. And try to just increase your vocabulary by using these household chores. And then you can add more chores as you master these. If you need practice, watch the video again and practice the pronunciation on your own. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button below and share this video with other people. Thank you so much for watching and don't do too many household chores in one day. See you next time.